But being a tuna champion is all about those small moves that make a difference. Let's find out how to take a tuna's temperature down after capture so we get the best quality meat and the longest possible shelf life. Today we're going to head down off the bottom of Tasmania to an area called the Mewstone. What we're hoping to do is find some good sized southern bluefin tuna and ice it down. Okay, so we're just preparing our slurry now. So Dana's putting in the ice. I'm putting in a bit of seawater from the deck hose. We want this to be about 50-50 so the fish doesn't slosh around too much. And that will stop us bruising. Because the bag's pretty padded and does a great job of insulating the ice and also protecting the fish. All right, so we're going to lower the fish into the chill bag. Make sure that the, um, the gut cavity gets a good amount of ice in it. So we started with 50-50 water and ice here, but you can see the ice is already melting really quickly. So we're going to have to keep putting ice in, some good ice in there. So it's really important to keep the core temperature down or get it down as quick as possible to really extend the shelf life of the fish. One, it will give you a better eating quality, but it will also last a lot longer in the fridge or the freezer if it's brought down. So remember, it's almost at 27, 28 degrees at the moment. We need to get that down to sort of that preservation temperature of about four or five degrees. And there you are, the fish is now packaged up. We've got the Mad Fish Extreme gear bag here. Great size for these sort of larger school fish. It's probably in half an hour we'll come and check it. We might drain some of the water out and get some more of that ice in there to keep that ratio around 50-50. Okay, so this fish has been on ice now in the slurry for about half an hour. So we're going to grab it out and we're going to do the next temperature test. So remember it was about 26 degrees when we did it before. Half an hour later, let's see how quickly it's chilling down. The air temperature is about 20 degrees. And if I put the tip of the thermometer onto the flesh of the fish, see that's getting down to about 13. So the ice is doing a really good job of cooling down the skin. But now if we put this into the core of the meat, so that's down near that darker red muscle to sort of the engine room, that's up around 26, 27 degrees still. So that's interesting, even after half an hour in a good ice slurry, the meat's still up around 26.3 degrees. And that shows how warm these fish get and how much ice and how much time it takes to get that core temperature down. So we're back in Dover. It's been a long day down at the Mewstone, but a good and productive day. Here's one of the great school fish we've brought back. It's a good one, it's about 35 kilo. We've had it in the ice slurry, which has stayed at minus one degree all day. Um, and it's been on that for about six and a half hours. So we saw earlier, even after an hour or two, the core temperature was staying quite warm. So we've just done the final tests after six and a half hours. About an inch in from the edge of the skin, we're now down to about five degrees Celsius, which is great, that temperature has come down. But when we get right into the core, we're still up around 17 degrees, much better than the 26 degrees we were seeing earlier, but still quite warm and shows how long and how much ice you need to actually really cool these things down. The idea of cooling them down is to get better meat quality and also a longer shelf life. So it is absolutely worth getting yourself a good catch bag and taking plenty of ice out when you go out to catch the southern bluefin tuna. You can find out more about catching, releasing and handling southern bluefin tuna at tunachampions.com.au and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more hot tips and cool ideas for making the most of every fish you catch.